Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, I got this table or dressing table or whatever you want to call it um, from Ikea and it's called the Mishi, I believe. And I think it was a really, really good price. Um, it just has wide drawers and then just a metal leg. It's really nice. And then this chair actually just came from uh, my dining table. We had six chairs and we really only to, wanted to use four. So I just used one for my vanity and it works, you know, decently. So I used that. So we'll just start over here. Um, everything is kind of bunched together just because I don't have that much room. But um, once we move in a couple of months, actually like two months, I'm going to get my own room because I need somewhere to store all of this as well as all of my shoes because I can never see them and I never get good wear out of them. But anyways, back to the vanity. Um, over here are just nail polishes. I have... You can see um, just some Butter London in the back. And then I have Orly right here. I have one finger paint and then a couple of Zoya, um, a couple of Essie. And then these are like bases and top coats. I just turn upside down because the only way they fit. And like that. Um, but I took just the base of it. Sorry if it's wobbly. I took just the base of it and I turned it just upright to store some products in because I only needed one of them. And this, I use both of those for old storage in my bathroom. So, um, back here I just have my deep brush cleanser. I have oil, um, brush cleanser, makeup remover, and fix plus. And then over here, if you can see in there, I just have like nail stuff and then a couple of like really cheaper eyelashes. Um, and then more like nail stuff and things like that. And I also have like wax stuff from when I want to be lazy and I don't want to go into work and I can just wax at home. And then over here, I just have some books. Like I said, the storage and stuff like that isn't really what I want it to be. And these books being here are really a pain because they fall over if someone bumps into it because we just moved our computer desk into our room. So it's really crowded, but only place I have is store them. So until I get better storage, they're going to be here. But to have a couple of books. I used to store my brushes in that, but now I'm just using it to hold the books up. Um, over here, I just have a couple of brushes from uh, work-related and school-related things. And more brushes. And then my mirror that I use, which isn't good, but it'll do. Over here are my brushes. And um, I have eye brushes and a couple of tweezers. And this um, is actually just a glass from my kitchen, but I don't have anywhere else to put them in. So I put them in there. And then back there I have hand sanitizer. And then um, those things right there are from my Sigma um, Mr. Bunny collection. And then I have my brushes. I have like cheek and highlight and stuff brushes and then uh, face brushes. And then over here, I just have um, a pink bag that I thought it was cute and I wanted to keep it up there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And in there, I have like a couple of makeup artist magazines. I used to have more, but the last time we moved, I lost them all and so I just started over. And um, I also have a couple of, I don't know if you can see, let's see, a couple of bathing suits in there as well. And over here... I have just lip liners in this little cup, and this was actually um, a candle holder, but I put lip liners in there, there's a little incense, and then here is my lipstick um, and lip gloss. So the first drawer of this, whoops, sorry, it's kind of loud, um, it's mainly MAC at the bottom, so that's all MAC, and then MAC at the bottom of this drawer, but... The top are wet and wild. The second drawer is miscellaneous. I have like L'Oreal, Revlon, a um, couple of NARS, NYX, more NYX at the bottom, Mirabella, um, Maybelline, things like that. And then third drawer and final drawer um, are all lip glosses. They're just jumbled in together. So I have like NYX, um, MAC, Cream sheen glass. I have a couple of lip glass in the back, a couple of dazzle glasses at the bottom. I have buxom um, lip glosses, Revlon color burst lip glosses, a couple of e.l.f. And I think that's about it. It's just a lot of randomness. Um, here are just brushes that I just cleaned, and so they're just kind of drying. Um, 
And then we can just go ahead and go to the drawers. So I'll move this out. And in the first drawer is mostly all the main stuff. Um, just all of these containers I actually got from the container store. Uh, and I also I don't know if I said, but I got those from the container store as well. Okay, and so in here, I just have, first over here are just Q-tips, um, eyelash curl, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and then over here I just have primers um, and concealers. These are all my foundations. I really, really like um, the, what is this, the Nature Lux? CoverGirl Nature Lux, that's what it is. I really like this one. As well as these, what are they called? Revlon Photo Ready. Over here are just like compacts that I don't want to depot or can't depot or anything like that. I also have Tarte, like Milani. That's NYX. Um, MAC. Um, more NYX. Bare Minerals. More MAC. Things like that. Over here I have liners and that's stuff for my eyebrows. Um, as well as, what are these things called? Um, jumbo eye pencils. Over here I have pigments from Ben Nye. And then over here, Glamour, Glamour Doll Eyes. NARS products, just basically face powders. Um, cream bronzers, OCC, um, pigments. And then just powders. MAC, loose powder, um, Benefit. Little box things. Um, and then that's Physician Formula. And then I have more Ben Nye and a couple sugar pill pigments back there. And then over here, with that, with that. And then this last drawer is over here. Sorry if it's shaky. Um, first off, I just have my MAC palettes. Um, so I have two, whoops, I have two eyeshadow palettes and then um, two blush palettes. And then under that, I have a Z palette. I have a 120 uh, color palette from BH Cosmetics and another BH Cosmetics palette. I have Too Faced, their bronzing deal um, sugar peel palette. This is the heart, what is it, burning heart palette. Another BH Cosmetics blush palette. And then back there... Oops, if it'll focus. Back there, I have, um, Graftobian, um, what's it called? Foundation palette. I have extra, um, brush, washcloths, disposables, a couple of containers with, like, glitter and rhinestone, things like that. Um, little small, um, precise pens. Glitter, uh, quads that are from NYX and then over here I have all of my, my bases so right here I have my MAC um, paint pots these three are Maybelline color tattoos and then these three are um what are they called the Benefit Cream Shadows. This is a concealer that's way too light. I just use it for a base. Couple of cream liners, MAC pigments, um, e.l.f. cream liners or whatever that I don't use, a fluid line from MAC, a NYX um, base, and then a Coastal Sense pigment, or not pigment, sorry, liner. These are just like samples and things that I got from Ulta. And then all the way back there, are back to Mac things that I need to go and take in and then a couple of or three or four three of the eBay lashes and then over here which these things are about to say are um, these are actually the containers that they're in so this one um, this one these are from the same container that I was telling you about earlier so those are this just the little drawers that came out of it and then this finally just has uh, mascaras and things like that. And then at the bottom, if you pick everything up, little it has like several of the NYX uh, colored liners. 
and I think that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's not that much, but it does good for me. Oh, and just at the bottom, um, I don't know if you can, there we go. This has just like backups of um, stuff for my waxing pot and backup disposables for my kit whenever I do um, do weddings. And then over there is just a light that I use for my makeup, which is bad, like I said, but I don't, because I don't have a window, so it's very hard to do like natural lighting or to get anything good. So I use that fake light and it doesn't really work well, but that's okay. I think that's it. I'll just give you, my palettes are still out, but I'll just give you a quick overview. Yeah, so that's it, and I hope you guys enjoy.